Hello Bermuda, it's cup match time, one of the biggest holidays of the year, when we gather to celebrate our unique way of life. On the field, we will see the island's best cricketers battling for victory. We will see teamwork and players stepping up. There will be setbacks and comebacks and moments of glory. The struggles and triumphs that characterize cup match resonate through this special holiday as they have across centuries of Bermudian life. Emancipation Day celebrates freedom from slavery, teaching us that freedom and the opportunity and equality that make it real are not givens, that they must be fought for and protected. Struggle is the one constant that reveals who we are as a people, our shortcomings, our goodness, and our everlasting hope for a better tomorrow. Summer's Day commemorates the perseverance of our first settlers, finding new life in a new world. Each generation of Bermudians works hard to overcome the particular challenges it faces. And like cup match, there are setbacks and comebacks, but the push is always for a better Bermuda. Every government shares this goal. Our focus has been on restoring opportunity, turning back an economic crisis that hurts thousands and threatened our future. We have made progress. The economy is growing, confidence is returning, hotels are developing, tourism is reviving, and businesses are hiring. St. George's is on the verge of revival with the return of cruise ships, higher revenues for civic improvements, and a new hotel. We have taken care to prepare people through the National Training Plan, career pathways, and small business support such as microloans. Community life is stronger for cashback grants, Team Street Safe, and the great program that has graduated more than 600 children. Seniors have further protection through pension hikes, home care help, and financial assistance. We have outlawed forms of discrimination, and the work for equality under law will continue. We have also used our time to make Bermuda more transparent and accountable, to grow participation, protect people, and ensure good governance. We are making progress, but there is always much more to do. The goal is one people, equal, prosperous and safe. We can all play a part in this national effort and I invite everyone to consider what you can do for a better Bermuda. For this government, it means doing a better job communicating and we're working hard every day to do just that. In addition, we will endeavor to detoxify the political environment to make it more collaborative, compassionate and civil. Politics should bring people together not drive us apart, but that has been the tendency here for just too long. We will do more to prepare people for the opportunities coming our way in all sectors of the economy. And we will continue working hard in communities across the island to break the cycle of violence that is hurting so many and to help young Bermudians find their way. Progress in these big challenges will depend on our willingness to work together. We live in an age of hypercriticism and quick judgment which sows division and discord. I believe it is better to be civil and positive and to give the benefit of doubt. In breaking with negativity, we will see that we have much more in common than we ever thought. Which brings me back to Cup Match, an excellent time to celebrate our identity as Bermudians, our life together, and our faith in a better Bermuda for all. And let us also use this moment to remember Fikere Crockwell with a great cup match that demonstrates the competitive spirit he always brought to the game. In closing, I want to extend thanks and appreciation to Somerset Cricket Club President Alfred Mabry and his members. I visited the club last week and they have done a great job preparing the grounds for what promises to be two days of first class cricket. And to everyone, no matter where you spend this holiday, let's show our visitors true Bermudan hospitality and spirit. Happy cup match, Bermuda.